everybody, Tim Norris here. And Carmen Norris. And before we get into this too much, we want to show you our new banner. Ta -da! Ta -da! This was a Christmas present from my nephew, Steven. Thanks, Steven. You are awesome. Uh, so it's been a while since we've done a Pathfinder video. We haven't forgotten about you, but... It's been kind of busy, you know. Yeah. We had the holidays. I've been fighting illness, so you just trying to juggle all this. But here we are, back in the saddle We're back. again. Uh, so this scenario is the approach to Thistletop. And um, we are going against, I believe, Gogo Mert, who is the disco champion. Gog Mert. Um, so he's not a disco champion. I oh. don't believe so. I envision this totally different in my head. <laughs> <laughs> now, when we finished the last scenario, um, we were able to upgrade a power feat. Yes. And you decided to go with what? I went with weapons because uh, Maricel can now use her awesome throwing axe. Yes. And as Valeros, I went with uh, increasing my hand size. They are huge now. Check them out. Now, actually, I went from four cards, now I can hold five cards, which is kind of good or bad, because um, I often think that, you know, having a larger hand size whenever you whiff on some dice yeah. kind of hurts you, because then you lose a lot yeah, more Yeah, you cards, can though. take more damage now. So. Yeah. Um, now, this is just going to be a two-player game this time, and why? Well, the four players is just really hard to cram all into the camera. Uh, hard to track visually and edit and all that jazz, so... Yeah, so um, we decided we're going to go with just two characters. It does not mean we will never do four characters again, and we are continuing privately our adventure with... <laughs> it's the... still fun to play with four characters. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it yeah. It doesn't work real great for the videos. It's a little tough, but anyways, um, that's it. So why don't we get into it? We are the approach of Thistletop, and uh, let's get going. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is the approach to Thistletop scenario. It is uh, second to the last of the Burnt Offerings adventure. And uh, it says here that during this scenario, the difficulty to defeat monsters with the goblin trait is increased by 1d4. Uh, we've got our four locations laid out. We'll start here in the woods. We're familiar with the woods. Um, it says here that at this location, undefeated monsters other than villains or henchmen are banished. When closing, succeed at a wisdom or survival 6 check. The goblin fortress, which this is a new location, so that's kind of exciting says that the at this location the difficulty to defeat monsters with the goblin trait is increased by two so this is obviously working off of the scenario given the fact that goblins really are going to become powerful in the goblin fortress mm -hmm. when closing summon and defeat a goblin raider henchman when permanently closed on closing add 1d4 random weapons to this location without looking at them then automatically acquire the top card carmen would you like to read the next two uh, then we have the Treacherous Cave. At this location, you must succeed at a Constitution or Fortitude 6 check to move or be moved to another location. When closing, succeed at a Wisdom or Survival 7 check. Uh, there is no permanently closed effect. And then we have the Nettle Maze. You may attempt a Wisdom or Perception 9 check to evade a monster. When closing, summon and defeat a random monster. And when permanently closed, you may shuffle an item from your discard pile into your deck. I like the nettle maze. I like all them monsters. Um, I think I'll just definitely okay. start there. Well, since I don't know what I'm starting with, I'm going to start safe in the woods, and then I'll move if I get good cards. How's yeah, that? Sounds good to me. Okay. So, uh, Valeros increased his hand size, which means I get to draw five cards instead of just four now. So, that's kind of good and bad. I always look at it as, oh, you didn't draw a weapon, did you? No weapons. Um... I always look at it as if you don't have that many cards in your hand, and if you take a sufficient amount of damage, at least you're only taking that much damage, you know? Yeah. So that, that kind of has me a bit worried, but eh, whatever. Yeah, you can take more damage so, now, exactly. Ladies first, or would you like to concede to the gentleman? I'm Why looking around for a first. Oh, I'll see if I can find a gentleman. All right, so let's flip over my first card. A token of remembrance. Well, this is an Intelligent Arcane Wisdom 5. My arcane intelligence, well, I got a, I'm a d6 on my intelligence, so technically I can try to get this. And I did, I actually acquired it. And it says here, bury this card to recharge a spell from your discard pile. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, yeah, I carry so many spells. Maybe. You know what, Um, I think I'll use the dog to explore again, how's that sound? So let's flip over my next card. Alright, a hellhound, now let's get to some good stuff here. Alright, so it says, uh... He is a combat 10. Add one die, two checks to defeat the Hellhound with the Cold Trait. Well, I don't have anything with the Cold Trait, I don't think. No, I sure don't. 
Um, and then it says, after the encounter, the Hellhound deals one fire damage to each character at this location. So, well, at least I got the token of remembrance to take that one fire damage with. <laughs> so I will take a D10 for my strength melee, which is a plus five as well. So I only need to roll a five. And why don't we use so many good choices here. I will use my long sword, which says uh, reveal this card to add a D8. And then it says you may additionally discard this card to add an additional D6. Well, the good thing is Valeros does not discard cards. He actually recharges them. So that'll give me a D10, a D8, and a D5. And all I have to do is get a 5. So You right. can do it. And that is uh, 16. So that is definitely a dead hellhound. All right, so I will end my turn there, which I... Ah! We should just keep going. All right, so <laughs> let's use the guide to explore again. It's an and ogre. Now it is an ogre, which he does not have the goblin trait, so we don't have to worry about that. All right, so he is a combat 14. So let's see here. If undefeated, the ogre deals one combat damage to each char other character at this location. Big. Oh, wait, wait. I was supposed to take the one damage from the hellhound. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves because it says after the encounter, the hellhound deals one fire damage to each character. So that will um, mean I do get rid of the token of remembrance. Okay. So, all right. So <laughs> let's hope I don't get beat up by an ogre. Um, all right. So I will use my strength, which is a d10. And then I will use my Great Axe, which adds an additional D12. And then it says you may additionally discard this card to add your unmodified strength die. So that'll give me an additional D10. So let's recharge that Great Axe. And that will now make it to where I have to... I've got an automatic plus 5. So I need a 9 with all these dice. So... Whoop, whoop, whoop. And, whoa, I just did whoa, get that. Whoa, barely. Six, seven, eight, nine, exact. Huh. So, because nine, ten, of twelve, thirteen, fourteen, yep. Wow. Goodbye, ogre. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> All right, so okay. I will end my turn. That was a heck of a first turn, though, you have to I'm admit. scared. Why are you scared? Because I don't have any weapons. <sighs> yeah, but you do... F Is there nothing I can do about that? Unfortunately, I believe that, Marissa, that as long as you drew an item, yes, you did draw an item, correct? That you yeah. are stuck with that starting hand. The only way for you to get rid of that is by just using cards and... Um, or I could discard them. Discarding, yeah. which is resetting your hand. Yes, you can do that as well. Um, and Well, I the, can just evade stuff. I yes, guess. you can. All right. And, and, okay, so let's take a look at this. All right, so this is a specter. He is a combat 11. The Spectre is immune to the mental and poison traits. If the check to defeat does not have the magic trait, the Spectre is undefeated. Uh, if undefeated, you may move to a random location. Now, one thing to, to, to remember is that in the woods, undefeated monsters other than villain or henchmen are banished. So, okay. in a way, as long as you don't take too much damage... I could get rid of him. You can get yeah, rid of Yeah, and get rid of some of my cards that are not doing me any good at the moment. Um, what's your wisdom by any chance? My wisdom is a d6. Okay, so it's a wisdom divine 7 or combat 11. And um, I believe you're going to... I'm going to lose no matter what. Uh, yeah, unless you just decide to evade. Unless I evade. Yeah. And I have nothing to help you out with. I am sorry. I have no... It's either combat or wisdom divine. No blessings. It's odd that neither one of us have drawn any blessings yet, isn't it? What's the attack with? Just um, normal? Well, yeah, okay. attacks normal, yeah. Oh, you mean like if he had fire or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 nothing like that. Yeah, too bad you don't have an armor or something where you just absorb the damage. Then at no, least you none be... of these cards are going to help me at all. I think you should evade and try to reset, I'm guessing. You can use the Holy Candle, because, I mean, we do have two cards here, so, I mean, it's not like that goes to a waste. Okay, I'll evade. So you're going to evade, so we'll shuffle him back in. Okay, now, I would use that Holy Candle, at least. Now, 
I mean, you could have actually, don't forget, you could have actually discarded a card to add two D6s to your, your strength and fought with a D8 and two oh, D6s. Oh, I could have. Did you not think of that? No. I can try to find him without looking at all the cards and pull him back up. Unless you feel like you've already evaded and you've evaded and that's the that's it. I've already evaded. Just remember you can do that, okay? Yeah. Alright. I, 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 I didn't realize you had forgotten that. I hate to use the holy candle this early. I, I don't think it's a big deal because we never roll anything more than a two or a three anyways. <laughs> what are you supposed to roll, 1d6? Yeah. It could add two back in, huh? I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. All right. And then we can use it. We'll, we'll have two get that back in, and then there you go. And, of course, it was a six. Could have been six. But if, you know what? Here's the thing. Honestly, you've got to... <laughs> If we needed a six, you'd have rolled a one, okay? We know how this works. Uh, I think you're supposed to shuffle. Let me see. Well, honey, there was two cards. Yeah. What's it matter? Okay, here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you're all finished up. And go ahead and um, reset your hand. Go, oh, heavy There crossbow. you go. See, and you got your... All right, Mr. Ghost. He is the... Uh... Combat 12 or Divine Wisdom Divine 8. The ghost is immune to the mental and poison traits. If your check to defeat does not have the magic trait, the ghost is undefeated. Well, I do have my Icy Long Spear, which Yay. does have the magic trait. So, and I will use that. So I'll have a D10 and a D8. Ooh, I want to use one of these black D8s. Yeah. And a D10. Um, and this is a plus one. If I fail my combat check, I can re-roll. Um, it would... I'd have to re, um, recharge the card, but I could re-roll if I fail. Um, now, remember, I do have a plus five, but the Icy Long Spear gives me a plus one, so that's a plus six. So I just have to roll a six with these two dice. So, oh, and you rolled a two. Double ones. Okay, so let's uh, try that again. Let's go again. Yes. There you go. That's why. Thank you, Icy Long Spear. That's why I had the Icy Long Spear. I, I ain't, ain't afraid, afraid of no ghost. Ghost, ghost. and he's go bye-bye. All right, so he is defeated. Um, I don't know. I, I'll just go, I'll just stop there. So I'm just hey. gonna draw it back up. So here you go. All right, so warlord. you have a warlord, and the warlord is a combat nine, and it says the difficulty to defeat the warlord is increased by the adventure deck number of the current scenario. So that will be a plus one. So he is a plus. He is a ten to, to be able to defeat. Okay. Um, subtract one from each die roll in your check to defeat the Warlord. Wow, that's a big deal. Okay. So, uh, he is um, a combat 10, and you have to subtract one from each of your dice that you roll. So basically it takes away my plus two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I think, I'm thinking about just discarding those. I would definitely probably just no, discard just get those. Two yeah, two more D6s, but they'll be actually D5s. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you gotta get a 10. You got this. And remember, he's defeated regardless. Oh, yeah, he's. Yay! He's definitely beat up. So. Goodbye, Warlord. All right. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Alright, so. Okay, sorry about that. I had a sunburst in. He had a problem with his little uh, tablet. So, alright. Um, you are all finished up, so um, you defeated the Warlord. You have drawn back up, so now it is my turn. I will flip my card over, and uh, I, I'd imagine you were done. I'm sorry. Did you want to explore again? No, I don't think Okay, I'm That's sorry, fine. because I, I, I thought you drew back up, but I remember you already had that. So, Okay, so, um, all right, we'll explore with mine. A ghoul! All right, so it says here he has a combat 11. The ghoul is immune to the mental and poison traits. If undefeated, reset your hand and end your turn. All right, so he is nothing special. We will use the war hammer. I, I did draw back up, remember, because I discarded the boots. Okay, then there yeah. you go. All right, so a uh, war hammer, and uh, I will use a D10. Then I will get a D8, and let's recharge it, and we'll get an, an additional D6, I believe. Yep, a D6. So let's add that. And uh, we need to get a six. And golly, what is it with these dice? So Barely. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, whew, wow. 
Didn't your weapon give you a plus one also? No, no, oh. no, unfortunately not. Um, so that will end my turn, so I will draw back up. And Carmen, it is now officially your turn. All right, so some cow trips. Dexterity four, and they are yours. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Yeah. All right. And you failed. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you? Or no, 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 no. You got a plus two. Well, Wait. yes, you did. Yeah, you did fail. Yeah. You had to roll it. Good. I didn't want them anyway. See yeah, that? Yeah, you do, because you could have explored again. I didn't want them I anyway. I didn't want Okay. Do you wish to explore again, or are you done? I'm done. I'm done. I'd rather use my blessing for something more exciting than exploring again. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Ooh, a Warhammer for me. All right, so um, it says here a strength melee six. So my, sh well, my strength melee is already a five. So even if I roll the d10, I automatically am going to acquire it. So Warhammer, I say the war. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't really want to have to discard it, mm, but I don't want to get rid of my armors either. Armors sometimes come in handy. I guess it goes in my discard pile. Okay. Um, I don't have it. I could use my blessing to Callista, but I don't want to do that. Okay. So. All right, babe. I'll let all you, hun. Okay. All right. Our first henchman. Uh, now he is Brophismus. 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 Okay. Well, he is a <laughs> bugbear ranger, and it says he has a combat eight. Okay. And says encounter Brocklomosaurus twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is defeated or undefeated based solely on the results of the second encounter. Okay. So even okay. if you beat him on the first encounter, if you don't beat him on the second, he is not defeated. So keep in mind also that at this location of the woods. Undefeated monsters other than villains or henchmen are banished. So you have to defeat him to be able to uh, close this location. So. All right. Um, I can recharge this dude to give myself a D6. Okay. All right. And you will have to fight him twice. All right. So I have to get a six with all these. Mm -hmm. And you got him. Yes. Okay, now you have to fight him again, so you'll have okay. to recharge another card if yes. you want to do that. Um, I could recharge my blessing. Or maybe do that one. Well, whichever one. That's up to or you. Or this this one. I mean, the blessing, that's kind of the same thing, really. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Right. <laughs> it's all the same. There you go. All right, you got him twice. Now you have to succeed at a... Wisdom or Survival 6 check to close down this location. Banish this card and choose a character at your location to succeed at a Survival check. So this location is now closed. Eh, there wasn't nothing exciting left either. So it's banished? Alright, good yeah. job. Wonder Twin Powers activate. I kind of right, so wonder if I should have saved it for that one. Eh, half dozen now. That's a... Seven. You know, my feelings are, if you can close this, close it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, I do know. have a Wisdom 6. I do not have a Wisdom 7, no matter what I do. Don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we close the location. That's always an exciting Okay. Day. All right, so y'all finished up? Done. All right, so I will continue over here in this place. Okay, a locked passage. A Dexterity Disable 8 or a Stealth Melee 16. If defeated, examine the top card of the location deck, then put it on either the top or the bottom of the deck. Um, I do have my Masterwork Tools, and it says reveal this card to add two dice to your Disable check. Unfortunately, I do not have the Disable check. I don't know why I have these. I really think I need to just give these to you. Um, seems how I don't have the Disable check. Yeah. It does say recharge this card to defeat a barrier whose highest difficulty to defeat is 14 or lower, but, but that's unfortunately 16. Yeah. that's 16, so that's not going to help me a whole lot. Um, but I do have my Blessing of Callistra. It says discard this card to add two dice to a non-combat dexterity check. So my dexterity is a D8, so I can roll three D8s, and then if I want to I can still reveal this to add a couple more D4s just to make sure I get past okay. this. So, all right, let's see what we're doing here. And, okay, so eight, which is plenty. So that's everything we needed uh -huh. to get past that. And now it's going to allow me to examine the top card, which is an ogre. Let's put him on the bottom. 
Because it's Cause not going to be any good to find Yeah, because it did okay. say I could put on either the top or bottom. Yeah. Right. We'll put him on the bottom. Um, I'll just draw it back up, and it is your turn again. I'm going to go beat some stuff up at the Goblin Fortress. Oof, boy, that's a tough place to fight. I hope you're ready for that. Hey, you're... I'm better at fighting than I am at wisdom. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> True that. All right, so you have a Yif Hound. We've never seen this. A Combat 9. Before the encounter, each character at your location must succeed at a Wisdom no! 6 check, or the difficulty of her checks is increased by 1 for the rest of the turn. Eh, you, you'll be fine. Even if you fail, I yeah, think you'll be okay. fine. And you did fail. I failed. So he is a Combat 10. Okay. All right. So um, my heavy crossbow. He does not have the Goblin trait, thank goodness. Okay, so heavy crossbow, which is going to give you a d10, plus your dexterity, which is a d12 plus 2. So you're going to have to roll an 8 with those two dice at the moment. What are your returning throw and axes do? They give me a d8 plus 1 instead of a d10. And then I can also recharge the card to add another d6. Hmm. Nah. But I can always recharge it to add a d6 to the heavy crossbow anyway. True. Okay. You gonna do that instead? Or are you just gonna recharge it anyways? I got it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Okie dokie. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, he's beat up. Alright, so congratulations. The Yith Hound has been defeated. And if you try to explore again, remember your check is going to be a plus one. Because you did you failed at that wisdom and uh -huh. he increased it for the rest of your turn. Oh, okay. So I just won't explore again then. Okay. Alright. Alright, uh, ghost. Alright, so it says the ghost is immune to the mental and poison traits. Did I just fight a ghost? Did I just fight a ghost? You got two I ghosts. I swear I just same. fought a ghost. Yeah, there was another ghost. Alright, that's Patrick Swayze. Um, it says uh, if your check to defeat does not have the magic traits, which I do have my long sword this time, so I'm safe. Alright, so I have to do a combat 12. So I will use my longsword, so I'll do a d10 plus a d8. Oh, I won't have a weapon if I recharge it. I mean, there's a chance I won't. I don't like that. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it anyways. All right, and that'll give me an additional d6. Ooh. Yeah, but that's still a plus one for my longsword. So one, v three, four, five, six. So I have to roll a six with these three. The next one has to be the henchman. Yeah, I think so. Or villain, even. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So he is defeated. Okay. And I did have the magic trait, so he does go. I ain't, I ain't afraid, afraid of no ghost. ghost. At the bottom one is yeah. an ogre. So that has to be maybe, the or the villain. If I don't draw a weapon, maybe I leave. And I didn't draw okay. a weapon. We know that that's either a henchman or the villain. Ooh. For a fact. I should go over there and beat him up. Well, I don't know if that's <laughs> such a great idea. Okay. With my blessing. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Go ahead. All right, a Goblin War Chanter. It's a new one, too. A Combat 8. And before the encounter, succeed at a Wisdom 8 check, or you may not play I spells. I may not play okay. spells. Now, or real me. quick. Okay. Um, unfortunately, because he is a Goblin, and yes. he is in a Goblin Fortress, that is going to increase him by 2. Yes. So now he's a Combat 10. Yep. Plus, remember the scenario says that the difficulty to defeat monsters with a goblin trait is increased by 1d4. Yep. And you did a 4. <laughs> so now he is a 12, 13, 14. He is the a goblin, 14. The goblin war chanter is coming to get you. <laughs> All right. This just got serious. Now, you can evade it. I can, but... What's the point of that? Then he'll just go back in the deck. <laughs> pretty, pretty uh, tough to fight, man. A 14 is awesome. Woof. Well, let's see what I can do. All right. I'm going to D10. I got a D12 plus 2. <sighs> uh, I need a 14. Mm-hmm. Um, well... Just, I don't know if I should use up my Blessing of Era still on him. He's not a henchman or nothing. Yeah, yeah. But still, he is a check 14 to defeat. <laughs> True. 
I had an incredible first turn, which means that if you evade, I just don't think it's that big of a loss. Oh, you're going to recharge your Thieves I'm Tools? I'm going to recharge my okay. Thieves Tools. That'll give me a D6. So you've got a 12, a 10, which is 22. So you got 28. You're 50%. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Don't tell me I should do, do it. it. You can no. Do it. <laughs> um. Use your Blessing of the Gods instead, then. Yeah. And then I, that would give me another D12. Yeah, do that. So. There you go. All right. Okay, so two D12s, a D10, and a D6. Oh, God, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, boy. All right, so, all right, there you go. You're fine. Bye-bye, Goblin War Chanter. Not play spells with the attack trait or weapons. You oh, can't play weapons. We didn't finish reading yeah. that? Maybe we should finish reading next time. <laughs> it says, or weapons. What weapon did you use? This? You yeah. Can't, you can't use weapons. Okay, so real quick, we need to reset that because we need the next time, read the whole card. Right. Okay, right. you have to succeed at the, the Wisdom 8 check, or you may not play spells with the attack trait or weapons. All right, okay. well then, you I'm have to evade him. You have Goodbye. To evade this thing. <laughs> yeah. Finish reading the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, now we know he's in there. That guy's pretty bad, too. Maybe if I used my blessing of earth still, I still could have gotten it. Yeah, there's always that. Okay, yeah. so did you want to explore again? You just evaded. You can explore again if you want. But he could just pop right back up. No, I'll pass. All right. I am thinking I'm going to leave this place. That's a good idea. All right. And I'm uh, thinking about actually coming here. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So. Can you succeed at a Wisdom or Survival 7 check mm. at the moment? No? <laughs> My Wisdom's a D4, and I have zero Survival, so. Okay. No. All right. So. Um, all right. Well, we'll see what happens here. And it is him. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh. All right, so before the encounter, succeed at a wisdom. Well, I don't have any weapons anyways, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I will use, so first off, okay, he'll be a 10, 13, okay, so, or 11. So he'll be a, a check 11 for me to defeat because he is a goblin. Uh -huh. I don't have any weapons anyway, so I'll use my blessing of the gods and roll two D10s, and I've already got a plus 5 with my... Ability. So, so you need to roll a six with two d tens. Yeah. Yeah. Think you can do it? There's a four. Yeah. There you go. I do think so. All right. So he has been defeated. Um, and I didn't and, use uh, my blessing on that. You Yay. did not. So I still don't have a stinking weapon. Wow. I am okay. Valeros, weaponless Valeros. I should have probably just gotten um, rid of a car. Why don't maybe. I go over here and beat up whatever this is? I got a weapon. I like that idea. Okay. It's a god. Well, I could have beat up a goblin raider. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So first off, um, let's uh, let's roll that and let's see what uh, he's increased by. Okay. Two. So Two. he is a ten, a combat yes. ten. If undefeated, bury one item or weapon of your choice from your discard pile. If defeated, you may immediately attempt to close the location. So. All right. Okay. Combat so, 10. Uh, where's my D10? And again with the Thieves' Tools and the D6. Again with the Thieves' Tools. Um, and I need a 10. You can do this. Yeah, he's not. That's, that's only a 10. Bah. Okay. There you go. There you go. Now, I only uh, needed an 8. I got a 15. says here that you have to summon and defeat a random monster. So, Carmen, let's get rid of your Goblin Raider. Random monster. Choose a random monster. Oh. Okay. Random monster selected. It's a shadow. Oh, no. The shadow is immune to the... He, you don't have a magic weapon, do you? You don't have the magic trait. You will not be able to do it. Which means now, because you don't have a magic weapon. Aww. Uh-huh. All right. Well, 
I well, you still I'll have just, to fight him. I could just evade him, can't I? Uh, yeah, actually, you could. Yeah. And then he just goes back in the box, but unfortunately now we'll have to do that stupid thing again, but we have to fight the goblin first. Which is only one more card. Not a yeah. big deal. Still stinks, uh, though. I could do that right now with my blessing. Yeah, you could. It's up to you. Eh. I don't know if it's necessary. Okay. Alright, um, I'm gonna, I want to get myself stuck in the treacherous cave. <laughs> <laughs> so you must succeed at a constitution of fortitude six, because I've got this where I succeed automatically if I want to move. Um, okay. I don't think I flipped my card, did I? No. I don't think so either. Alright, so a half plate. Constitution nice. fortitude four. My constitution's a d8. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, and I got it. So I have a half plate and a chain mail. I don't have anything that's allowing me. Well, I mean, I could get rid of this to explore again, but I don't know. Um, I'll get rid of the chain mail and hang on to the okay. two half plates. Uh, I will just stop there, and now it is your turn. Well, you know, I just don't think I need all this stuff, and I don't have a weapon. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six cards. One. I don't have any. Five of these are weapons. Five of them. Okay. So you want to explore again? That I can't exp... Well, I... I guess I could. My Blessing of Torog. I'm thinking about just resetting and just getting rid of the Masterwork tools or a half plate and just getting yeah. rid of them and then at least drawing up. I'm just going to reset and I'll get rid um, of that. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. Then I get a shit. I was going to say you should have gotten rid of All the Masterwork five of tools. My, these are... They're all my weapons. Oh, my God. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. All right. Um, I, I think I already flipped you. Yes, you yes. did. Okay. All right, so it's an ogre. Uh, combat 14. If undefeated, the ogre deals one combat damage to each other character at this location. So uh, he is not. he does not have the goblin trait, which is good. And uh, you are by yourself, so you can discard some stuff and... Uh, um, or... Recharge and get an additional D6. I think D6. I need to use that on you, so I don't... Oh, I've got five still that I can draw. I'm not too worried yet. I will recharge my armor. Let's see what it does. I could just get, add two D6 by discarding it. Just to, Well, you're going to summon and defeat a... You have to summon and defeat a random monster after you're done with uh -huh. him. Um, yeah, but I still have blessings for that. Yeah. So, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'll discard yeah. the blessing instead. How about it? Um, so you're just going to add another D12? Yeah. Okay. So two D12s and a D10. And uh, You know what? If you're discarding it, wouldn't it just add two D D6s then instead? I can add two D6s. I'd rather do that. Instead? I mean, I get to choose which one, right? I would rather add two D6s. That way it's less chance you're going to whiff on a D12. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. And plus it adds two instead of just one. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, got 13, it. 13, 14, yep. which means he is defeated. Um, and now you have to summon and defeat a random monster. Don't get a shadow this time, please. Oh. Do you do it immediately or are you supposed to wait till your next turn? I think you do it immediately. Yeah, you do yeah. it immediately. Well, do it immediately. Come on. <laughs> Goblin Commando. He's going Commando. He has no panties. All right, so he is a Goblin, unfortunately, which means you have to roll the D4 and add that to him. And so he is an 11, a mm. Combat 11. Before the encounter, he deals one ranged combat damage to you. So, Magic Leather Armor, there you go. All right, so this is it. Uh, you do a Combat 11 and defeat him. He is dead. So... You got those two, and okay, so that'll add two more D12s. Yeah, I need to get an 11. Yeah, you think that's overkill? I'm thinking maybe I should just recharge, recharge it. it instead and get the D6. That'd be 22, that'd be 28. Yeah, you're at 22, that'd be 28, and you need an 11. 
I think you could get him with a D6. I really do. Okay, I'm going to recharge it. May the odds be in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so that's gonna end part one of Approach the Thistle Top. And you're doing all the heavy lifting. I mean, you're doing all the closing locations. You're doing Beating great. up the goblins, closing locations. That's what it's all about. I'm not doing very well on this one. But it's okay. I like sitting back and watching Marissa in motion. It's like, yeah. It's yeah. not bad. Um, we've yet to come across the, the Disco Champion, Go Go Mert, yet, and have our dance fight. Uh, but, um, Gog Mert, the, the Goblin Druid. I, you know, things work differently in my head than what I think they do with yours. <laughs> and pretty much everybody else watching this. <laughs> but um, anyways, yes, we have yet to come across the God Mert. And, uh, but when we do, I am sure that probably Marissa will defeat him for us and save the day. Um, but until then, keep your eyes peeled. We'll have part two up shortly. And until then, bye-bye.